Greetings, Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope. So Aries time is a good time for you to socialize. It's a good time for you to meet people. It's a good time for you to do planning for the future. And usually the, the money that you need will be there. Um, life is usually easier during this period of time. And there's a lot of, you know, there's activity. There's a lot of partying. There's a lot of socializing. And there may even be political upheaval. It's just planning something eccentric or unusual. I mean, I have to hand it. I mean, I have to hand it to the, to the Republicans right now. My God. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican either. I wouldn't, you know, I, I mean, I don't. Those parties are too big. How can you trust them? And there's so many people like that, you know, you can't really keep an eye on them, you know, like the little ones, you know, little people, watch them, you know, little people are important. You know, I, I think that we forget too often that, you know, um, that this time, Gemini, you like them all, big people, little people, whatever, they're people. Well, let's say you've had some, you know, clandestine love affair or something from a party or something. I mean, there could be karma from this. Venus and Mars moving into your 12th house. You know, it could be like, it could be a aggressive, deceitful male. It could be a deceitful female. Or you could be just having the most wonderful pleasures of the bed in your isolation you've ever had. I don't know, it, you know, but the remedy is to just pay attention to your spiritual life. Pay attention to making good karma. Giving things away. Not expecting any return. And in that, that kind of agape love will outpouring will help you during this period. Um, Mercury now moving into your 11th house, you know, your social life is going to open up. You're going to make some new friends. It's got to be fun to be you.